Golden Retrievers are one of the most popular dog breeds in the United States. They have a lot of appealing qualities, but there are also some things about this breed that may not be so great. Golden Retrievers are very affectionate and loyal dogs. This is why they make such wonderful companions for humans. They are also very intelligent and trainable with a low amount of stubbornness, which makes them excellent family pets because they can learn new commands easily from their owners. Another great thing about Golden Retrievers is that they are very active and will make great companions for those who love the outdoors. They have a few less appealing traits too though, like their slobbery mouths that can lead to drooling or chewing on furniture when the owner isn't watching. In this video, we will give you everything you need to know about the Golden Retriever, helping you decide whether it is the right breed for you. But first, if you would like to keep getting useful tips and guides about your dogs or cats, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we constantly bring you useful info that will help you be a better pet owner. Let's get started. There is a long-standing myth that golden retrievers are the product of Russian sheepdogs bought from a circus. The truth is they were developed in Scotland at the Highland estate of Sir Dudley Majorbanks, later known as Lord Tweedmouth. Tweedmouth took a distinct breed home to Scotland and in 1868 and 1871, bred him to Bell, a Tweedwater Spaniel. One of the most distinguishing characteristics of the Tweed Spaniels is their willingness to retrieve game for hunters. They are also exceptionally calm and loyal in the home, traits that are very desirable. The puppies were bred with a flat-coated retriever, another Tweed Water Spaniel, and a red setter. Tweedmouth bred most of these to continue his own breeding program and gave the rest away to friends and family. In 1911, the Kennel Club in England officially recognized the Golden Retriever as a distinct breed. Previously, it had been classified as Retriever, Yellow or Golden, but by 1920, it was officially changed to Golden Retriever. The dog breed came to the U.S. from Canada around 1910 and was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1932. Males typically grow to be 23 to 24 inches tall and weigh anywhere from 6 to 5 to 7 to 5 pounds. Females usually grow to be 21.5 to 22.5 inches and typically weigh between 55 to 65 pounds and reach their full height by one year of age and their mature weight at two years old. Goldens come in a range of colors, from lighter to darker and anywhere in between. They can also vary in body shape. According to the AKC, they should move with a smooth and powerful gait. Golden Retrievers are known for being healthy dogs. They have a lifespan of 10 to 12 years and are not prone to any life-threatening illnesses. They have a low level of inherited disorders that other popular breeds have, such as hip dysplasia. Goldens are generally healthy, but because they have a lot of body types and bloodlines, they can experience health risks. Some Goldens will experience one risk, while others may happen to have several. It's important to know about them so you can plan appropriately. There are other, less common medical conditions that can affect your dog's well-being elbow dysplasia, cataracts, progressive retinal atrophy, or the gradual degeneration of the retina, hypothyroidism, gastric dilatation, volvulus or bloat, and allergies are some of these. Golden Retrievers should have their ears checked often and teeth brushed regularly for best help. The Golden Retriever is very friendly, so they don't really care about the noise and commotion of kids. Teaching your children how to approach and touch dogs not only teaches them to be respectful, but also teaches the dogs that the kids are safe. Supervise all interactions between dogs and kids. Teach your kids to respect a dog's eating and resting periods and not to try snatching your food away. Golden Retrievers have a predisposition for being good with other animals and dogs. Golden Retrievers are natural animal lovers. They are bred to be good with other animals, especially if they are raised together from a young age. This is because the Golden Retrievers were originally bred to retrieve game for hunters, such as ducks and geese, and this meant that they needed to have an affinity for the other animals around them in order to work well at retrieving them. This means that Golden Retrievers can live with cats, chickens, horses, or even cows without any problems. As long as they are introduced when they are younger than six months old then, they will not be scared of these animals as adults. You'll need to take extra care of a golden puppy. These dogs grow very quickly between the ages of four to seven months, which can lead to bone disorders. Golden retrievers shed a moderate amount in the winter and summer and a heavier amount in the spring and fall. 
If you got one, there will be dog hair on your clothes and things around the house. Your golden retriever will require a lot of brushing to maintain its luxurious coat. Daily grooming is not a luxury for this dog, but rather a necessity. Your golden retriever should also get baths once a month, and it may be even more often than that. Brush your golden retriever's teeth at least two to three times per week to prevent the buildup of tartar and bacteria inside. Daily brushing is also beneficial if you want to avoid gum disease and bad breath. It is recommended for you to trim your dog's nails once a month at least, and even more if they're not wearing them down. When you can hear them clicking on the floor, they're too long. You should keep your dog's nails neatly trimmed in order to keep their feet in good condition. And when you've never trimmed a dog before, it's best to ask for advice from a vet or groomer. Golden Retrievers are considered to be one of the easiest breeds to train because they are highly intelligent animals. They are not only easy but also very eager to please their owner. Golden Retrievers have a very high level of intelligence and learn new things very quickly. They have excellent memories too. This means that they are able to retain training for quite a long time, even if it was given many years ago when they were just puppies. Training Golden Retrievers is relatively easy because they enjoy doing it and respond well to positive reinforcement, such as treats and praise. Dogs of all breeds need exercise, but Golden Retrievers are particularly high energy and require a lot of it. Golden Retriever owners know that their dogs need a lot of exercise. This breed is very high energy and needs a long walk every day, or they will start to get destructive in the house. In addition to their long walks, Many owners will take their golden retriever out in the yard for some fetching or let them play with other dogs at the park. Golden retrievers may be too much for people who live in an apartment without a yard or people who are on the go all day long. In general, golden retrievers are outgoing and playful. They are also intelligent, devoted, and best suited to be active pet dogs. They are best suited for active owners with a human around during the day. They don't do well on their own at home. They love their people too much. Golden Retrievers are well known for being friendly with people they encounter, whether at home or out in public. Goldens make great service dogs. They're loyal, intelligent, and have a gentle temperament, which is perfect for the role. A calm, sweet nature is the hallmark of the breed. They are hardwired to work with people and are eager to please their owners. However, like all dogs, they must also be well-raised and well-trained for them to be fully well-behaved. The bottom line is, Golden Retrievers are a great dog breed. These dogs are well-behaved and are great for families or homes that are ready to show them love. However, they are prone to some health issues that need to be addressed with the appropriate care. Their health issues can be taken care of if you have the knowledge and money for it or know how to find a vet specialized in Golden Retrievers. In conclusion, the Golden Retriever dog breed has some great qualities that make them a great choice for families with kids or for people living in cold climates because of their thick coats and high prey drive. But they can also be hard work if you have allergies or if you don't like dog hair at all. So, do you want a Golden Retriever? What are they like? Please leave a comment below.